Hello and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. Now, in my last video, I got the Fab One bodywork done. And uh, pretty happy with that, but it's now time to move on and go back to finish off the underneath. I'm um, going to have to put the bottom on, uh, the wheels, the electrical stuff, um, and then do some work on the bumper bars and grill. So this is what the underside currently looks like. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is put the wheels on. So I've got those lined up. I'm just going to tack them in with a bit of uh, super glue and a bit of hot glue. Next up, I'm going to glue the machine gun in. There we are. Now these are the side machine gun holders. They just get glued in there like that. Just made a couple of these. These are the front headlight machine guns. Right, next to go in are these LED lights. Um, and we wired these up in a previous video. They're gonna go in the back there and into the cab. Look at that. Now I'm just gonna tack those in from behind with a blob of hot glue. Now I'll just route these wires underneath here and around the axles and into the compartment. All right, now for the front headlights. So that's the front lighting in. Gonna go next to those machine guns. I've just rooted it here underneath the axles and then over there into the uh, driver's compartment. So the next stage of this is I've got to get these uh, bottom pieces ready to go on. Now, they just fit on like this. Uh, that one I'm going to glue into place, but these front ones here and the back ones, I want those to be removable so that I can get access to the wheels and the wiring if I, if I need to. So I'm going to screw these on. Uh, and in order to do that, I've 3D printed this little part here. I'm going to glue that on there and another one on there. And then I should be able to screw that that front section on and i'll do the same for the back section oh that's how they're gonna go on i've uh, got four screws to hold the front one in and there's gonna be four to hold the back ones in so i think that's gonna look quite nice uh these bits are gonna have to be sprayed silver now i'm gonna spray these in rust-oleum metallic aluminium now it's time to decide what to do with the Rolls-Royce grill and the front bumper because I want these to have a nice sort of metallic chrome look. So I've uh, 3D printed some little test pieces, a miniature grill and a miniature bumper. I'm going to try some different methods to see what uh, finish I can get. So first I'm going to try this uh, bare metal. Uh, chrome this is actually really made of metal so should give a nice finish but I don't know how it's going to go on so I'll have a little practice on those pieces and see how it looks so let's see how this looks I'm just going to do a test piece Well, that's the bare metal chrome it has picked up the 3d print line so they would need to be sanded a bit smoother and it's a bit tricky to get around the curves on a bumper um, I think I could do a much better job um, but that is 
the bare metal chrome. Now I'm going to compare that to liquid chrome spray paint. Now this is how the chrome paint has come out. It's actually pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. Um, but if you compare it directly with the bare metal chrome, you can see that there is quite a big difference. Okay, well, I've done one of the front bumpers and this is in uh, chrome, bare metal. And I think I'm gonna go with this. Uh, I think that looks okay it's uh it's not like a professional model kit but i think that's going to look all right when we put it on so made my decision going to go with this bare metal i'm going to have a crack at these headlight sections now now this is what i made earlier it's the front headlight with the middle one that swings down to show the machine gun uh, this is also going to have to have a chrome finish, so I'm going to have a go with bare metal foil on that. Just fasten the LEDs in from behind. So I made another cock up here. This lovely machine gun that goes in and out won't slide past the middle headlight once I've put the glass in. It's about half a millimeter out. I'm gonna to have to try and get these off. Look at that mess. Well, I've had to remake these machine gun supports, a little bit shorter, and I've put an insert in here so that that will cover up the mess that I made when I drilled out the old ones. Well, that doesn't look too bad. So just got to do the other side. Well, that's both of them done. Well, that's all the wheels, electrics, lighting and machine guns done. So now I think I can put these bottom panels on. Well, there it is with the bottom on. And for those of you that didn't actually see the previous uh, video, I decided to make the bottom of this car look like an enormous dinky toy. So that's why it's got these particular markings on. Uh, so a little bit of fun, but uh, I think that looks really good. Well, there's been quite a lot of work to get to that stage. Uh, but now the bumpers. <clears throat> so this is the rear bumper that I've 3D printed. That's gonna need uh, sanding off a bit rounder. And this is the support for the front bumper. And uh, that's going to have one of those glued on either side. Uh, and I've made these so that they can be screwed on and removed to allow access to the interior. So go and get on with those and see how they come out. So this is the second bumper bar. Now, I've sanded this, I think, a lot smoother than the first one. So I'm hoping it's going to come out even better. So first of all, I'm going to put a strip of foil around that section. Now 
And I'm just going to glue these onto that support. Well, there they are, the front bumpers done in bare metal foil. I'm uh, pretty happy. I think they're as good as I could get. I'm sure a professional would do a lot better than that. But anyway, uh, that's what we've got. Well, I've actually run out of bare metal foil, so that's as far as I'm going to be able to get in this video. This is where we are now up to. We've got the Rolls Royce with the wheels on and got the front headlights and the front bumpers done, as well as the, the rear lights there. So it's coming on pretty nicely. Very happy with it. So that's it for now. In the next video, I'm going to have to finish off the front grille and the rear bumper bar. Um, and then I'm going to have to start on the interior. So hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.